welcome to Springs Kids. I'm Megan and I'm so glad you're joining us today. If you are four, five, or six years old, our Kinder Church class is made specially for you. And if you live in Winnipeg or Calgary, we would love to have you come check it out. Every week we have playtime where you can have fun with toys, make a craft and make new friends, play exciting games and eat delicious snacks. Dance along to fun music while you praise and worship God. And most importantly, we have a Bible lesson geared right to your age group so you can learn more about God, how much He loves you, and the amazing plan He has for your life. Here at Springs, our culture is to laugh. L stands for love. We should all love one another. A is for accept. We should accept each other and all be friends. And F stands for forgive. <laughs> we all make mistakes and should learn to forgive. Hey everyone, I'm Percy. Uh, excuse me, Megan, that is amazing. But can we show all these kids at home today's lesson too? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Nice. We've got a super fun lesson this week. I can't wait for you to see it. But let's start by standing up and doing some praise and worship. God loves us so much. He sent us His Son. I want to celebrate Because it's Christmas Day So I'm gonna sing, sing, sing And shout, shout, shout So excited, I just can't hide it now So I'm gonna sing, sing, sing And dance all around I know Jesus is what Christmas is about Hey guys, it's memory verse time. Let's all practice this month's memory verse together and I can teach you some actions with it. Ready? Here we go. God has given a son to us. Isaiah 9, 6. Do you guys think you can repeat it after me? All right, let's all do it together. Are you ready? God has given a son to us. Isaiah 9, 6. Awesome job, everyone. Now let's all stand up together and say it all together. Are you guys ready? Okay. God has given a son to us. Isaiah 9, 6. Great job, everyone. Great job with the memory verse. All of you did such an awesome job. <gasps> you know what time it is. Time to hear a story.
I'm Poppy. I'm so excited because my very favorite day is coming. If you know what I'm talking about, shout it out. Yes, Christmas is coming. I love our Christmas decorations so much, I've decided to look at them while I eat my snack. Alphabet cookies. What's this letter? Shout it out if you know. Yes, it's an A. A is for apple. Let's try another letter. It's another A. A is for airplane. Do you think there are any more A's in here? Yes, there is. It's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Snacking on tasty letters, are you? Hey, Ollie. We're thinking of things that start with the letter A, but I can't think of any more. The alphabet starts with A. It's true. I know something else that starts with A, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Check out today's special. Ta da! <laughs> there, my A is for angel cupcakes. There for our story today. The very first part of the Christmas story begins with an angel. If you're ready for a story on the count of three, yell, Tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story. The true story of Christmas begins long, long ago, and it's amazing. Did you know that God has loved you since before you were even born? It's true. And because he loves us so much, God gave us Jesus. One of the first people he told was a young woman named Mary. Everyone say, hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Now, how do you think God told Mary about Jesus? Did he tell her on a video call? No! Did he tell her with a letter in the mail? No! God sent an angel. A is for angel. Everyone say, A is for angel. A is for angel. <laughs> when the angel appeared, Mary was surprised and afraid. Everyone make your afraid face. But the angel said, do not be afraid, Mary. I have good news. Good news? Everyone, let's pretend to play our trumpets to share the good news. Ready? One, two, three, go! Good job! You can put down your trumpets now. The angel said, I have good news of great joy. You are going to have a baby boy, and his name will be Jesus. He is going to grow up and do amazing things. On that day when God sent the angel, he showed how much he loved Mary and how much he loves all of us by sending his son, Jesus. I'm so glad God gave us Jesus and that we get to celebrate him at Christmas. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God sent an angel to Mary so we could know Jesus is born for me and you. Thanks, Sally. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow.
Wow, God sent an angel to tell Mary that she's going to have baby Jesus. God loves us so much that he gave us Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey, Ollie said he'd help us find another word that started with the letter A. A is for... Shout it out if you know. A is for angel, just like the angel that told Mary about Jesus. See you guys next time. Bye. Hello, everyone. I'm Elsa, and this is Kristoff. There it is again. I don't hear anything. I'm telling you, I really hear something. You guys heard it, right? I don't know, Elsa, but Anna said she heard it too. I was busy gathering ice when she called. She said you guys are hearing something a little bit like <laughs> So we rushed over on her magical ice horse right away. Well, the last time I heard mysterious sounds, I ended up discovering a new island and freed people who had been trapped there for decades. Don't forget about the crazy winds and the rock people. I don't want to go through that again. Well, okay, okay. We still shouldn't ignore the sound. What if someone is trying to send us a special message? Ooh, like how the angel gave Mary a special message in the Bible story today. <gasps> yes! Oh, there it is again! Oh. Yeah, I heard it that time. See? Whoa, I can't believe it. It does sound like an angel. Well, now, where could it be coming from? Maybe from over there. Elsa, you go check. You're not scared, are you, Kristoff? <laughs> uh, who? Me? Uh, maybe just a little bit. Remember in the Bible story how the angel told Mary not to be afraid? Oh, there it is again! The angel said not to be afraid because it was good news. Good news for everyone. Oh, yeah. Oh, she was going to have a baby. Yeah. Baby Jesus. That is good news. You know, I hope this voice has good news for us, too. Maybe it has something to do with Christmas. Like, maybe a special Christmas gift for us. No, yes, special gifts are wonderful, although not as special as baby Jesus. He was the most special gift. That's true. Although ice picks, new sleds, and carrots for Sven are nice to get too. <laughs> hint, hint. Oh. oh. Elsa, I think I know where it's coming from. Where? It's my cell phone. Oh, I totally forgot that I changed my ringtone. Oh man, oh. I've got like 10 missed calls. Uh, oh, hello? This is Kristoff. Oh, that's great. I can't wait. Thanks, I'll be right there. What was that about? <laughs> the special surprise I ordered. It's here. You finish off the lesson, I'll be right back. Okay. Wow, <laughs> I wonder what it could be. Sleds and carrots are nice, but we know that God has already given us the best gift. Say his name with me. Jesus! Yes! God gave us Jesus. Let's pray and thank God for all the gifts we will receive this Christmas, but most of all, for giving us the best gift, Jesus. Dear God, thank you for Christmas. Thank you that we get to show love to all the people around us by giving gifts. But thank you most of all for the most special gift you gave us, Jesus. What a special gift he is. In Jesus' name, amen. I have a gift for you, Elsa. What? What's this? It's ice cream. Don't you know what ice cream looks like? Um, oh. Oh, well, it's like sugary frozen stuff. But Kristoff, I can freeze things with just the wave of my hand. I know you can, but I just wanted to do something nice for you. You're always making cool stuff for us. Oh, well, that's very sweet, Kristoff. <laughs> Thank you. Mmm, <laughs> and this is really sweet too. <laughs> happy, happy, Merry Christmas Happy, happy, Merry Christmas to you To you When the snow falls down and it's cold outside I hear jingle bells when the stars go by I eat cookies and milk and candy
Hey guys, I'm so glad you joined us here today. We love learning about God, how much He loves us, and the amazing things He wants us to do. Did you know that you are loved so much by God that He sent His Son Jesus to die on a cross? He died, but He's such a hero. The best and true hero that He defeated death, came back to life, and wants to be our best friend forever and ever. How amazing is that? We're going to pray a super awesome prayer right now and we can ask Him to come and live in our hearts and be with us forever and help us to be superheroes too. With God in our hearts, we can live the best life possible. We can be brave. We can be strong. We can have joy and peace. He gives us healing when we're sick and He's a friend when we're lonely and He gives us blessings so amazing that we can't even imagine. Let's pray and I want you guys to repeat this after me. You ready? Okay. Dear Jesus, thank you for dying on a cross for me and coming back to life to be my forever friend. I want you to come into my heart. I want to follow you and love you forever and ever. Help me to learn and grow every day to be more like you, a true superhero. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, you guys, I'm so glad you prayed that prayer with me. If you don't have a Bible at home, you can ask your parents to contact us and we'll send you one. And don't forget to tell them to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing. Have an awesome day and I'll see you next time. Bye.